Hello, it's Grace here by Cadonia. I am just about ready to head off on my road trip and I thought I would show you what the hell I am taking with me. So this road trip is going to be maybe two or three thousand kilometers. It's going to be maybe five or six or seven days or maybe two weeks. I don't know. We'll find out along the way. And um, here's the stuff that I'm taking with me. I won't be camping so that makes everything super super easy and super lightweight. So what have I got? Let's have a look. All right, so toiletries, toothbrush, toothpaste, and a lot of sunscreen products because as you can see, my skin is simply not adapted to being in the sun all the time. Then I have coffee. So this is a little Vietnamese coffee filter, the drip coffee filter. I love this kind of coffee. Like you can make it so strong, you can see through time. Anyway, I also have the coffee itself tucked inside there. It's this beautiful honey flavored blend from up on the mountain where I've been staying. It is absolutely divine, lightly roasted, oh, perfect to wake up to. And I have some milk because I like milk in my coffee and you may as well enjoy your life. Okay, what's next? So I have contact lenses, big pile of contact lenses because as you may or may not know, I am severely blind. So my script is about minus 13, um, which is kind of depressing, but I imagine that illustrates to you the necessity of the contact lenses. So they're a bit expensive because I can only wear a certain kind. They're, um, I have very thin corneas, so if I don't wear this special kind of contact lens, my corneas dry out, get inflamed, and everything goes south very quickly. So contact lenses, super important. Um, hairbrush, because this is a mess and maybe I should just cut it all off then I don't have to carry the hairbrush. This is something worth considering. Then what else? Okay, layers, layers. So it's actually winter in Thailand now and it can get pretty, pretty chilly if you're at high altitudes in the middle of like the night or in the early morning. There are some places in Thailand, like up at Doi Intanon, where you get frost. So you want to be prepared for that. You don't want to get caught out, especially on the bike with that wind chill happening. So layers. I will not be riding around in a Four Seasons jacket, bulky and heavy. I would rather stab myself in the eye. I've tried that already, not the stabbing in the eye, the wearing the jacket. Um, I will be wearing my normal, ordinary, extremely worn out uh, mesh jacket. It's got the armor I need, it's got the abrasion resistance I need, so that's fine, just wearing my mesh jacket which is pretty light. Then this is a waterproof layer and so if it does get really cold that acts as a windbreak, so it's going to keep all that heat in against my body, it's going to cut the wind chill, so that makes a huge difference. Look, if you don't have anything better, garbage bags work, also newspaper works, put newspaper down the front of your jacket, you'd be amazed, that stuff will keep you alive. <laughs> In, the, in some of the chilliest conditions. Don't ask me how I know this. Anyway, what else? Clothes, we're still layering. Okay, so I've got a merino layer here, which is a long sleeve merino top. So that will go against my skin and keep the heat in if it gets really chilly. Um, and then I have a couple of spare t-shirts, two pairs of socks. I've got two pairs of clean undies, G-strings only because normal undies take up too much space. I'm just saying. And um, that's pretty much all that I need because I have not cocaine, but washing powder here. So you finish the end of every riding day. And if you're not camping, the first thing you do, you strip up all that stuff that's all sweaty and disgusting and you wash it. However, washing it in the soap or the shampoo the hotel gives you, like there's that really dodgy guest house, absolute budget, all purpose washing stuff. It's not going to make your clothes smell nice tomorrow. It's just not going to do the trick. So carry a little bit of actual normal wash washing powder and wash your clothes when you get, get into your guest house, hang them up on the fan and you'll be fine the next morning. You can wear them all again. So that's sweet and that's why I don't have to have seven or eight or nine or ten changes of clothes. So pretty obvious but not everyone travels this way, so I thought it was worth mentioning. Um, oh, spare earplugs, because if you don't wear earplugs, I don't care how good your helmet is, if you're going fast, you're going to get some hearing damage, and also fatigue. Um, 
it's amazing how much that passive noise of the wind can increase mental fatigue because your brain has to process all of the sensory information it gets. Even if it's processing that information and going, this is not important, this is just wind noise and ignoring it, your brain still has to do the work to decide that it needs to ignore that noise. So you get mentally tired, you get more tired, more fatigued if you don't wear your earplugs. So I highly recommend. Anyway, anything else? Just one more thing. Bikini. Bikini. Never go anywhere in Thailand without a bikini. So, I completely forgot to mention this very important item. This is my little trusty Galaxy tablet with a keyboard and it's what I've been using for the last four and a half, five years to write about all of my misadventures. So I've got all the things I need. I've got my power cable, I've got my SD card adapter so that I can pull the footage off my uh, helmet cam and voila! Now this is the reason I will be taking this backpack. This is the Flying Solo Asphalt backpack. It's an incredibly comfortable backpack, like you really don't feel like you're wearing it most of the time. So I typically hate wearing anything on my back when I'm riding, but this is actually pretty good. So I'm putting only this very light tablet and my glasses into the backpack and this way if I change my mind or I go somewhere else or I get stuck or you know who knows what might happen if I need to do any work while I am on the trip I've got everything I need okay oh and so this is the size of my luggage this is what goes on the back of the bike it's not huge it's packed pretty tight and I won't even know it's there. Now I am actually wearing pants. It is time to hit the road. I am wearing my knee guards. I'm going to put on my armor jacket. We'll be all sweet. Okay, time to go. Time to assemble the kit. Kill switch pack. Got my money, got my passport. It'll have my phone. Armoured jacket, complete with legacy of various previous slides down the road. It has protected me many a time. Quitty because it's only 23 Celsius outside and for me that is cold. I love this hoodie. It's a Dakar merch hoodie. There you go. Can you see the, the dude on the back? Anyway, my gigantic friend bought this hoodie in gigantic size and then he washed it in really, really hot water. As you can imagine, now it fits me. And so that's how I got this hoodie. It fits over my gear and it's just enough to keep me just warm enough and not too hot in a Thai winter. What's next? Boots. Ashford backpack with my computer. Do up that middle strap for comfort. Sexy new helmet. Yes, I finally replaced the shoey, which had had a number of impacts. And so it really wasn't protecting my head anymore. Buff to keep the inside of my helmet clean. Luggage. 
So just one more task to perform before I get on the road. Luggage is strapped down safely with rock straps, not going anywhere, and tuck up my number plate just in case. Then I'm on the road and I'm heading out of Chiang Mai. As you can see, I'm on the big highway here. There's not a lot of traffic, especially for a long weekend. Of course, there's enough traffic that's still trying to kill me, but that's normal. I'm just cruising along in the sunshine with the odd exasperated gesture. Then I get up into the hills, riding through National Park, and it's just dreamy. Blue skies, cool air, what more could you ask for? Hello my lovelies, we have arrived. This is my layer for the night. It's about 12 US dollars. Normally it would be a little bit cheaper, but it is a long weekend here in Thailand. So that's okay. Prices are up a little bit, but it's manageable for one night. Um, everything is really clean, as you can see and the sheets are clean and everything's kind of new it's perfectly pleasant now i am all washed and refreshed i've taken a shower i've washed off the sweat of the day and i've also washed my riding underlayers like i was saying this morning i don't carry fresh changes of clothes for every day i just wash overnight now i want to show you a trick so it's not rocket science take your towel preferably after you use it so that you don't have to dry yourself with a wet towel. Take your wet washing, scatter wet washing liberally in towel. Fold over towel, like so. Fold up towel, like so, into a bit of a roll. And now, twist, 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 twist. And when you take your clothes out, you're going to be surprised at how much drier they are. It's kind of like the spin cycle when you don't have a spin cycle. So I'm going to hang these up now and then I'm going to go out and find myself a beer. Outside in the fading dusk I can hear this amazing noise. What is it? So I am back in my little lair now and I have obtained the essentials. I have obtained my beer, which I have been craving at the end of my day of riding. Delicious. And snacks for dinner. Probably not what your mother would recommend that I have for dinner, but it's delicious. I have to show you. So, um, this is really, really, really hot um, soy milk. And usually they serve it with these adorable little donuts and it is so delicious usually when you go to the store they have all of these sweet things they put with it like they normally would put a, a scoop of syrup in this bag before they added the soy milk so you get it, it would be really syrupy sweet much too sweet for my palate but you know now that i can speak enough time to ask them not to add the syrup i get delicious savory hot soy milk and it's just the most comforting bedtime drink. So I'm feeling pretty nice and relaxed and I don't feel like going out and partying because to be honest I've already had my fun for today and that was on the bike. So I just came down the main highway and it's actually it's really lovely on a fast bike. So I came down the 11 from Chiang Mai all the way through to Uttaragit and um, it comes over two mountain ranges so you get some really beautiful big sweeping curves going through there and on a fast bike when you're going fast enough to appreciate it it's it's good fun um but i i behaved myself today i didn't do anything too insane and i wasn't exactly dragging my pigs or anything i still have little chicken strips and so you know 
It's a gold medal to me for good behavior. <laughs> it was a good day. So I'm going to knock together this video and put it up for you. I'm going to finish my beer and then I'm going to have my soy milk and go to sleep peacefully and dream of motorcycles. <laughs>